The list price for new EVs is already competitive with cars such as the MG ZS EV and the Seat Mi Electric both around the 20k mark offering excellent value. Many industry experts also believe that EVs will have price parity in the mid 2020s so that means your electric car shouldn't cost any more than its petrol equivalent but what if you can't wait that long well here at smart home charge we think the used car market will be key to truly making electric cars affordable for the masses i've spent way too much time on auto trader to create this guide to the best used electric cars you can buy right now We're starting with the gold standard of reasonably priced family hatchbacks. The Volkswagen Golf has been the benchmark for quality for many decades, and the fully electric version is no different. The Volkswagen e-Golf has all the same positives as the normal Golf, albeit with a slightly smaller boot, but it's quieter and has a real world range of about 140 miles. That's plenty for the average commuter and family, plus it looks like a normal car. That might be a turn off for some, but there are plenty of people who think, can't they just take a Golf and make it electric? Well, they did. Sadly, the e-Golf has been discontinued and it's also held its value, which doesn't make it the cheapest car on our list, starting from around £15,000, but it's probably the best all-rounder. It's a great choice if you don't know what EV you want or you're new to the market. Stick with what you know because we all know what a Golf is like. Despite its quiet introduction in 2013, the Renault Zoe is one of the most celebrated EVs on the market right now. This multi-award winning car is testament to what can be achieved when a big manufacturer builds an EV from the ground up and keeps things simple. The Zoe looks smaller than it actually is thanks to its super mini profile, but it's actually only a touch smaller than the e-Golf. The comfortable interior is basic, but it has all you need, including Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. That might seem like a cop out, but let's face it, Apple and Google do a better job of in-car entertainment than many manufacturers anyway. As the Zoe's been around for some time, there's quite a few variations with different battery sizes and different ranges, including the latest Renault Zoe R110, which achieves over 200 miles. As it's been on the road for some time, there are a few variations with different battery sizes, specs and ranges. But on the used market, we would plump for the older 22 kilowatt hour version. There are plenty available, meaning you can grab a bargain, but also choose a spec level that suits you. These usually go for around seven to nine thousand pounds, but just keep in mind earlier Renault Zoe's were sold with a battery lease. That means there's an ongoing monthly cost for the battery, which you can expect to be up to ninety-nine pounds per month, depending on your mileage. However, that does include breakdown cover and means any issues with the battery are Renault's problem and not yours, and it also helps keep the cash price down. There's a huge selection of Renault Zoe's on the used market to choose from and a great place to get some more detailed advice is the fantastic Renault Zoe Owners Club. So be sure to check them out for more tips and owner advice. It's hard to see where the electric car market would be right now if it weren't for the original Nissan Leaf. It launched way back in 2010 and the volume sold means there's plenty of choice on the used market with prices starting around £6,000 for a decent early model. The value has held well and the Leaf can go for closer to £11,000 for a low mileage and well specced example. Regardless of what is powering it, the Leaf is a genuinely excellent family hatchback with 370 litres of boot space and a spacious interior. There's a reason it's one of the best selling electric cars in the world after all. There's two main battery sizes to choose from, 24 and 30 kilowatt hours. In addition, the age of the vehicle and how much the battery has degraded will affect the range. For this reason, I would go for the 30 kilowatt hour version, as the bigger batteries were on the newer cars and more likely to have retained battery health and therefore their range. On the spec side, the Ascenta has a good balance between features and price. In fact, you can pick up a 2017 30 kilowatt hour Ascenta model with less than 10,000 miles on the clock for around 13,000 pounds. 
for a lot of car fans out there, the BMW i3 was an instant classic. It wasn't just groundbreaking because it was a Beamer with a battery underneath it, but because of its revolutionary design and build. A lot of the materials that went into the i3 were from recycled sources and the plants where the i3 was manufactured were also powered by renewable energy. So if you want an electric car that was green when it was made, as well as zero emissions, then the BMW i3 is right up your street. The unique design may be divisive, but we think it brought out the best from BMW's designers and engineers, and because of that, it could be one of the first electric classics. That does make getting hold of one for a low price quite difficult, but if you can stump up, then it's definitely worth it. There's a few different versions, but we like the E variant, as there's lots on the market. The earlier full electric models had about 115 miles of real world range, which is just fine for everyday driving. As the i3 is a four seater, it's not exactly designed for long family trips, although the rapid charging function makes this more than possible. We found a 2015 plate i3e with less than 10,000 miles on the clock for under £14,000. If you want something different, BMW design at its best and decent urban range, then you can't go wrong with that price. If the range is an issue, then you can still find the range extender version, which included a small petrol tank and generator to give the battery some extra juice. If you're going to do a hybrid, this is the way to do it. On to some honorable mentions. It was a toss up between including the E-Up and the E-Golf on our best used EVs list, but the recent upgraded battery for the brand new E-Up makes this the better option over its used predecessor. With 162 miles range and costing just under £20,000 new, the Volkswagen E-Up is brilliant value. Another car that deserves an honorable mention is is the Smart 44 electric. Nobody really seems to talk about Smart's electric cars, which is a shame because the Smart 44 is a good example of what urban EVs should be trying to achieve. Small in dimension with a Diddy 17 kilowatt hour battery to match, this car is lightweight and perfect for just pootling around town and used prices start from around 12,000 pounds. We hope you found this guide to the best used EVs helpful. What do you think to our list? Have we missed any corking deals on the market? Is there an EV that should definitely be on this list that we haven't thought of? Let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget, give this video a thumbs up. It really helps the channel out. And don't forget to subscribe either. See you next time.